In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your own custom font in Squarespace. So come into the back end of your site, select Design, Custom CSS, and then where it says Manage Custom Files, click here. You'll now see you can add your own image and font, so we're going to upload our custom font. Click here and add my font in. And now it's uploaded. Now if I come into this custom CSS block, I'm going to paste in a piece of code. So we've got font base family and then search URL. So where it says name here, I'm going to give my font a name. So it's called the impressionist. And then where it says insert URL, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go to manage custom files and I'm going to paste in or I'm going to click to paste in my font. So I've now added that font to my website. Now it's time to assign your font to a style. So you could do header one, header two, header three, your paragraph or a button even. And so to do that, you just need to target what it is you want to change. So if we put H1 for header one, and then I'm just going to paste in this little piece of code. It's just, it's just a curly bracket font family. And then where it says name, I'm going to change that to impressionist. And you'll see my header one changes to that new font. Now I could change this to H2 for header two or H3 for header three. I could do H4 for header four. I can also change it to paragraph and that would change my paragraphs. It wouldn't be very readable, but you can do it. And I can also change it for buttons. I would put this dot sqs block button element and as you can see it's changed this out now there are times it might not work very well if that's the case just come in here and after your font name put an exclamation mark and important and that just tells squarespace make sure that this is the that you're applying this piece of code and you can upload multiple fonts. So you can do the same thing if you want a custom font for header one, for header two, header three, and so on. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I hope that you found it valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to read and respond to every single one of them. And if you want even more tips on how you can publish, teach, and sell online, with Squarespace, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified the next time I post a video.